Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a video I seen all over Reddit yesterday. Essentially, it's a roof that's collapsed due to snow load. And I just want to analyze it and kind of explain to you guys what's going through my mind as a structural engineer. As always, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video for the YouTube algorithm, and comment down below for the type of content you like to see. So just a little bit about me, I'm a structural engineer here in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, who focuses primarily on restoration and structural engineering uh, within my own firm. As you can tell by the name of the channel, Engineering Entrepreneurship, I often do videos on both engineering, both on the technical and the coaching side, as well as entrepreneurship and some of the aspects of that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm just going to pull up the video here. So I'll just let the video play for you guys and then we'll watch it together and then I'll commentate and give my opinions and some of the things I could see from just this quick clip. Again, not the highest quality, but it's got a lot of uh, things that we can analyze. Right away, when I first look at the first part of the clip, I could see that uh, it's a building under construction. It looks like a residential structure. Uh, it also looks like some of the walls aren't completely framed in, as you can see here in this area. It does look like there's a little bit of flex going on uh, on the roof. Again, I can't tell if this is the eaves troughs that I've given out or, uh, or what's going on. It doesn't look like there's an awful ton of snow on the roof. It looks like there's about eight or nine inches um, so it doesn't look like it's it's fully overloaded. Again, I don't know where this is. I don't know what the design criteria are, but just right off the top, I can tell that if there's gonna be a failure here, it's likely not due to excess snow load. Um, it might just be due to the construction of the structure. So let's take a look at the video and uh, see what we see. Oh yeah, we can already hear some cracking. Right. Did you guys see that? So essentially it looks like the building caved in. So let's take it frame by frame and try to see what's actually going on. So right here is about where the crackling is at its worst. So let's uh, play a little bit and see what we can see. So the crackling. So cracking is either due to a separation of members. So I'm, I'm guessing here it's a combination of uh, the tension resisting members of this roof. So it might be that they didn't put in the ridge beam yet. Uh, it does look like it's stick frame. I can't see any major trusses in here. It looks like this might be a stick frame structure. If you guys want to know a little bit more about stick frame roofs, I'll leave it in the card up above. So yeah, it looks like it's a stick frame roof. It's already got a big bow here. So I might indicate that um, potentially the, the ridge beam hasn't been installed or some of the ceiling joists weren't uh, adequate. It definitely looks like there is not that much snow on this. Um, it looks like this is a building under construction. So this might be in a zone where there's not a ton of snow load usually and uh, they, this might be uh, high compared to some areas but again most building codes have a minimum requirements for live loads to handle these kinds of things so if there's kind of a freak uh, snow fall the uh, the snow load is actually typically covered under that minimum live load so we've heard some cracking so it might be some of the rafters or the joists kind of snapping already uh, might be some of the ceiling joists pulling apart like I talked about in the last video the ceiling joists the nails might be just uh, spreading apart or they might be snapping um, as you can see here, the, the building actually went inside. So that tells me that the outside members separated and that the building had nowhere else to go. There was no lateral resistance. We can see some of the walls kicking out. Um, so they, they're moving outside. So that's telling me that either a ridge beam wasn't put in place or the tension resisting member inside the truss wasn't adequately secured. Again, this building's under construction. In most municipalities or cities, you need to have a building permit now to be constructing any type of uh, structure. So I'd assume that if they uh, they got a permit and if they got approved for the permit that this was designed properly. So either by a building code uh, official, by an engineer or by an architect. So I don't think it might, I don't think in this case it was a design issue. I think that the building failed during construction. So again, it looks like a fairly large span, which again, even for a six, six or eight inches of snow, let's say, even call it a foot, over that large of a span during construction, it's possible that one of the members wasn't put in and that it failed as a result of a construction failure. So I, again, I don't think it's a fully a design issue in this case. Yeah, so see how it caved inside and then they had kind of a dormer in front of the house and that pulled away. To me, yeah, this, this has to be some kind of uh, failure due to the construction. I don't foresee this being a, a failure simply due to a design flaw and that's it right so in this case here this tells me yeah so that there's a tension resisting member that's 
that's failed. This area here, the, the, the gable end, looks intact. So that tells me that this area, the wall, was actually acting as the tension resisting member. Picture if you have a sheet of plywood uh, or OSB on the outside wall, that actually acts as your tension resistance. Um, and again, the middle portion, which again, might not have had the walls framed in, the ten there's a tension resisting member in that frame that was not included. So again, look, if you wanna learn more about that, go back and watch my last video. But yeah, that's that's if I had to suspect, suspect something from only this short clip, I would guess that this is a failure due to construction. Uh, one of the members was not put in, they got more than expected. Um, let's, uh, let's keep this going and see if there's anything else in this video that might be of interest to us, but I think that's pretty much the end of it. Yeah, so now it's just the people reacting yeah. that were around it. I think they've seen it coming, that's why they started taking the video. So unfortunately, I hope I hope nobody was injured in this. Uh, as Again, as engineers, our duty is almost to the public. Yeah, as we'll see here, even here, this section of it, it uh, looks like it's it's fallen out. If we look at what that looked like before, yeah, so this, it might be that the gable wasn't framed in, but here there's a big bow in that ridge. It looks really like the ridge beam wasn't installed or that, call, or that ceiling joists weren't put in. Um, again, I'd, I'd be surprised if this was a design flaw. Anyways, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and as always, comment down below for any video idea you may have. I upload on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from now until March. And again, my goal this year is to get to 10,000 subscribers and hopefully build a community of like-minded engineers uh, where we can all collaborate and share ideas. So again, I'll see you on the next one.